Snake. Okay. Obviously, Duran Duran, just who you're working with at the moment. The last time I, I was at a gig with you was Jesse J, I think. Um, it was, yes. Um, who else have you been doing? Well, I did Jesse for three years. Before that, um, Pet Shop Boys, Craig David, sort of all sorts of genres. Just round about the pop music he yeah, it's always yeah. you're always in an arena or a stadium yeah, somewhere. Yeah, 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 that sort of size. Shall we dive into the, the yeah. desk and have a look at your, your session? Yeah, let's do it. Show me how you lay your faders out. What have you done with your faders? Well, I've just uh, actually, I, I got the desk very early on, so um, there were no uh, multiple layouts, and I ended up just basically laying it out like a, um, a profile. Okay. Um, on you. the profile, I always had my principles on the right-hand bank, so okay. I've got my uh, lead vocals and things that I need to spin in and out quickly, etc., uh, etc. Et so that's always up. Yeah. Uh, and then I change banks on the left. Okay. So what have you got in the first bank? Drums. Uh, drums. It's the usual thing. I do a lot of splitting of channels. So um, I've got my kick drum, which is split up into different versions of itself, if okay. you like. Snare drum again as well. So I've got like yeah. a. Dirty snare, which has got sans amp on it. Um, ah. uh, various different versions. Yeah, I can see you've got several snares here. Yeah, the snare top I've split in a lot of ways. You just wide split in the patch bay. Wide right? split in the patch bay, soft. And then yeah. if you want it a bit more dirty, you throw up the dirty snare. And, you know, it's, uh, if you want it brighter, I've got a brighter sort of That's a cool version. Yeah. Um, rather than digging into. And storing it with snatches or whatever. It, yeah, you I can just li literally balance the. Nice. The tone of something with the, the face. And you can change that each day then, it doesn't have to be stuck with a snapshot. So if you want no, it, it doesn't dirty, have to be, be particularly yeah. dirty one, one day, yeah. or depending on the room that you're in, you can... Yeah, you could, yeah. I mean, to me the beauty of is that I've got a lot of versions of the same thing. Right. Um, so actually, the speed of it is when they come to do a song, and they say, oh, we're going to do this song. Um, and you can just the, the moving the fader is so much quicker than dialing in going oh that's oh I like the snap of the snare now but then I've lost the top end a little bit and, right. and oh and now oh but, but I've run out of EQ so it's now I've got a snappy options. snare with yeah. a trans mod on or whatever and off I go I want it really snappy I'll push the trans mod if I want it really fat and dirty I'll push the uh, the, the one with the sans amp nice yeah really nice so. okay very cool so uh, what's going on in the middle here then so you uh, got uh, hang on so let's yeah. just go through this so you got drums on the top layer Mm -hmm. Then what's on the next layer? Um, then it's uh, bass, well, the second layer of drums. Second layer of drums. It's around, around, we've got a lot of drums. Um, drums. Uh, yes, electronic drums, um, triggers, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, and all the reverbs. What I do is I float my reverb returns onto the same layer. Sure. So that I've got my snare reverbs next yeah, to my yeah. snare drum rather than having that's it on a... That's the, yeah. the advantage of the digital world. Yeah. You can put yeah, stuff where exactly, you want it. Yeah, Beautiful. So. Um, say it, second layer, another set of drums with the with the appropriate reverbs that go with them. Yeah. And the third layer, we've got guitars, bass up that end, yeah. guitars, uh, acoustic guitar. Yeah. Um, Do you react the guitar. bass or is it just straight off the guitar? Um, no, actually, off. again, I've got a Sans amp and then I've got uh, some other stuff outboard on uh, UA stuff. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's the Sans amp. This bass is the distorted bass. Okay. So I can add a bit more dirt to it if I need to. The whole big sub bass thing, that's something that's happened. Yeah. It's almost been like a fashion and sound over the last few years. Exactly. I mean, just, in the just 80s, to you didn't have that, divert right? here, yeah. save a prayer, case in point, I do EQ, or I snapshot the EQ in my left and right. Yeah. You can see here the um, huge cut. Wow. Out of, out of the low end. Because Save a Prayer didn't, it, it wasn't this thing, it doesn't have this big booming, yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. a very tight, Cool. Musical melodic sound. Okay, so we got the inputs here. What yep. we got going on in the middle of the desk here, in the kind of. Um, the so I mix mostly. Um, I'll I'll drop everything into VCAs and groups. Yeah. So my my way of thinking, I'm an old school guy. I put things into actually uh, into audio subgroups. Oh, okay. So I've got my kick, snare, toms, uh, a, a, a clean version and a smashed version of the drum kit, nice. bass guitar and bass in, bass instruments. So and are you are you then processing all of these groups as well? Yes, yeah, some of them some of them do. Um, so I've got a smashed version of the of the whole drum kit if I need to, and I can sure. dirty up the whole and kit. By smashed for you know those at home, what do you mean by that? Limited, crunchy, dirty, top scythed off, you know. Right. Okay. Um, View to a kill. There's, it's just a big, huge grate. Yeah. 
American and James Bond. Massive, yeah. great wall of reverb on yeah. the drums, and um, yeah, yeah that, so, so that would be a, a you know the big room sound yeah. that you want to lift out. Sure. Whereas Planet Earth, very pudgy little, yeah. none of that. No, no room, no room. It's disco. Yeah, dry. Yeah, you yeah. Know. Why don't you pull up the lead vocal for us? Let's see what see what you're doing to the lead vocal. Okay, so this is Mr. Le Bon. Um, the channel strip's sort of fairly standard. Yeah, I would say. Um, a bit of EQ. A bit of EQ, not too much. A little bit of low cut. He's got a big voice. I mean, this guy is yeah. hugely powerful. Yeah, really oh, powerful. Okay. Um, uh, a bit of a cut there that I generally tend to move around. It depends on the song, you know, yeah. and depends on what register he's singing in. Yeah. So if he's singing in a really, really high register, then I tend to sort of cut a lot more. Um, if he's singing sort of lower yeah. down, obviously it flattens out. So it depends on the, the key of the of the, sure. the, the song actually. Um, then I've got um, a bunch of plugins, uh, some of which I can show you. So this is the ML four thousand. This thing does so much. Um, uh, it's a fantastic plugin. Sounds great. What are, what are you doing with it on on this voice? Are you using um, it for DSN or well, something? Well, actually, or? I'm I'm doing a little bit of multi-band compression, but I, I'm using it as a as a noise suppressor. So this okay, this replaced Waves WNS for me. This part of it. Yeah. So this plugin is so powerful that this bit of it does one plugin. Of, okay. So I'm, explain to me how you're using it as a noise suppressor. So um, what I've basically got here is an uh, an expander. Yeah. Uh, four-band expander. Yeah. So when he's bellowing away, yeah. um, maybe all of it will open, or the, yeah. the, the two mid bands will open, or the lower band will, will open. Um, but if he's singing like, there's no S, yeah. there's no top end needed yeah. in that sound. So you, you find that the top shuts. Oh, wow. So it suppresses the top end. Supre and so that's going to stop cymbal bleed. Cymbal and bleed like and all that stuff. So. You, you do that on a four-band basis. You that's can a, actually that's quite a bold move, right? Uh, yeah, but you know what? It just gets you out of so much noise from the stage. You know, there's another one on backing vocalist, shut down completely. Oh yeah. So you see. Wow. So they, um, you get nothing out of that till they, they yeah, until they, until she starts singing, and if she goes oh, then this yeah, band will open, bit, and yeah. all of these will stay shut. Okay, that's very um, interesting. Yeah. So it takes a bit of setting up. Um, yeah. You can link the bands together like this, yeah. um, so you can see the thresholds moving around in all of the bands when this master. So the first thing is you've got your noise suppression. That's the first thing yep. in the chain, and then the next thing. And then I've got the classic. You know, I was That's one of the it. first people that went out and bought a dynamic EQ by BSS, which I absolutely still love. Nine oh one. The nine oh one. Yeah, beautiful yeah, thing. I used that um, one a lot as well. And the AE four hundred pretty much does a lot of what that. What that did. Sounds a little bit nicer. Well, you don't have all, all the wires, it doesn't overheat. Yeah. Um, but it's a, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Um, so you've got bands of EQ that you can, which static EQ, yeah. and then you've got a threshold as Reactive, well. So, so can, yeah. yeah, and then uh, basically, so you know, I've got at that point, I've got the, the, the classic cut, at sort of eight, nine hundred, the yeah. roof of the mouth, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Um, and then there's the, the threshold. You can see the light blue, that, sorry, the light green yeah. here shows you where it'll cut to if he really digs in. Yeah. So that is static. So you've got a little bit for static, just general. General. And then if he yeah. really kicks it really in, digs in with the R, it'll, it'll, and it'll, it'll dig out that. It'll that, dig it even yeah. more. Yeah. Cry. That's really And nice the same for, for this. So, you know, you can set it song by song if you want. Yeah. Um, and say, well, you know, when he's in the verse and he's singing fairly softly, it's yeah. like that, and then when he blasts it, 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 it yeah. digs in, yeah. you'll see it doing right. this. Snapshots, just just run me through your snapshots, Nick. show me what you're doing with these Ooh, snapshots. Ooh, snapshots, everything in um, inputs is pretty much in, in the scene. It's all in the scene? Yeah. And are, and are you scoping everything or are you scoping Yeah, I scope thing? everything. I'll save everything because I never know when I'm going to need it. You <laughs> but, uh, scope everything and you save everything? Yeah, but I don't necessarily... I, I so the only thing is you, you, your snapshot safe in the pre's? Yeah. yeah. And your snapshot safe in oh, yeah. SLB's pretty much... Yeah, he's the only thing really. You, you, you do him he's every day. The money shot kind of... and the guest, yeah. there you go, because you never know who you're going to get with a guest. Okay. Um, cool. Go back to your, your like, have a look at your main snapshot list. Let me see what that looks like. 
Wow, yeah, so you scope everything, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. so, exactly. what, so when you have to edit your snapshots, when you do have to do global snapshot edit and you use the update or the edit, because obviously if you're scoping everything for every snapshot, you yeah. change one thing, you've got to... I'm very much, I've done this everything. so long yeah. that um, I tend to use more global things to fix problems. Okay. Um, it, sometimes it's a real problem for me, um, but... 90% of the time. But if I'd you EQ rather. something and then that EQ stored on all of the other snapshots, you change an EQ on something, you have to kind of... Oh yes, that. absolutely. That's, that's, the, yeah, that's, the, that's the rotten thing about it. But then again, you know, if I'm, if I'm looking at um, my kick drum, you know... Yeah. Um, Show me. So the same, you say, yeah, well, why would you, you know, worry? You, know, you, you could just take this out of scope. Yeah. But actually... If you look at how it's interacting anyway, yeah. it's it's um it's gone up and down. It's going and and remember that these got, guys you've got three, four versions of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Four versions of it going into a group. So you can totally change the yeah. sound of the kick yeah. drum by relative fader so positions. So in one way I've painted myself into a corner. Yeah. But, but in another way I like the colour of the corner. Awesome snake. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, you're welcome.